Last year I did three different types of container gardens. Um, I did wicking tubs, I did earth boxes, and I did grow bags. So, and I told you last year I would let you know what I felt to be best, or at least the, the pros and cons of each one. So let me just do that now. So, let's look at the grow bags. So these are tan pumpkins. And over here I have squash and zucchini. Those are zucchini. And the rest of them are squash, all in grow bags. Grow bags do really good. Grow bags are inexpensive to buy. Uh, I've got a particular brand I like, and I'll tell you in just a second what they are, um, because they just uh, are, seem to be thicker and for cheap. Now, there's some that you can spend some money on and probably better than this, but a cheap uh, grow bag that I have found to be good is called Opulent. I'll put a link to it below the video, so be sure to look down there at my link to that. But these, uh, these are doing real well. planted these, I don't know, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I guess. The grow bag, again, it's cheap to plant. It takes about two, this is a 10, these are all 10 gallon grow bags. It takes about two cubic feet of potting mix to fill up a grow bag. So kind of depend, uh, depends on what you pay for your potting mix as to what that's gonna cost you. And I'm gonna get into cost in a minute on some of these and let you know why I think some may be more cost effective than others. But this is going to be your cheapest route is going to be a grow bag except you have got to put some kind of tray underneath it that grow bag if you just water from the top that water is just going to go right through it and go into the ground so you need to have something an inch or two deep to catch that water now it can be a um, one of these totes that you buy maybe cut off or have some holes in them i'll show you what i have here in these i do have some holes drilled in these at about two inches up right there and that's so we get a hard rain one night they don't just fill up and drown out everything before I come out here and can dump them out and then that's a whole different mess trying to dump out uh, two grow bags full of soggy dirt and um, you know without dumping everything out soil and everything included so that's the grow bags cheapest uh, easiest probably method you fill up the bag with soil, I ring it around the outside edge with fertilizer. If it's a, a flowering a fruit, such as most of them, tomatoes, um, peppers, uh, these squash, anything like that that flowers, that flowers before they fruit, they get 10, 20, 10. I want that middle number to be big. So I'll put a pound of fertilizer around the outside, three quarters to a pound, something like that. And, uh, and then I, the mix itself, I always put uh, a one pound of lime in it because A, lime is cheap, B, uh, peat moss is about, as I understand it, about four and a half to five and a half uh, pH. You need to get that pH up. So mix some, um, uh, some lime in it and um, and that'll sweeten up your soil, get, you, get your pH up to six and a half or seven where it needs to be. So that's the grow bag, cheapest, easiest thing to do. Uh, well, maybe the easiest thing to do. I've got another one I'm gonna show you that I, uh, it might be easier, <laughs> we'll see. All right, wicking tubs. These wicking tubs, these two have squash, have zucchini in them that I just planted not long ago. These have squash in them. If you can even see the wicking tub under there. These have squash in them that were planted probably a month ago or so, and I am just about ready to start eating squash. I'm getting some pretty good fingerlings on there that are going to be ripening it up in the next few days. Wicking tubs are maybe, well, the second cheapest, I guess, unless you get your tubs free. But the wicking tubs are going to cost you these syrup tubs, protein tubs, if you know what I'm talking about are gonna cost you around $5 a piece, something like that. Sometimes you can get them free, 
Uh, there's plenty of farmers. I've got a video right about there, right about now, that tells you how to get them for free. And um, so you may want to watch that. You could get them for free, but then you've got the internal things, the uh, corrugated pipe, that black corrugated pipe. You've got um, the uh, landscape cloth, which you don't just go down and buy any landscape cloth. You have to buy a good commercial. So it'll last several years. You don't want to be doing this every year. Uh, or in my case, I made some hybrid tubs and you're going to take a, a, a corrugated um, pipe, black corrugated pipe that has a sock on it. Already comes wrapped in a sock. And uh, look at that video up there. There's a lot of interest in that. And it's called, I call it my hybrid tubs. A lot of interest in that. And um, I, I like them better. They may be a little bit more difficult to make. I don't think they're any more expensive to make, but they're a little bit more difficult to make, you know, by 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes. It's not that big a deal, but um, I really like them. All these are, are hybrid tubs. You can tell because they've got a, a pipe at the bottom for a drain hole there. So that's, that's how I know they are uh, wicking tubs. They've got pipes, little, little, um, half inch plastic pipes on the bottom. You'll have to watch the video to figure out why that's necessary, but uh, just, uh, just watch that and you'll see. So these are a little more expensive because you're probably gonna have to buy the tub. These will take about three quarters of a bag. So I'm gonna say, um, what is that? Two, two and a quarter, something like that. I'm not good at math, two and a quarter, two and a half cubic feet. So a little bit more potting mix than the grow bags but you're getting a bigger area. Uh, I'm putting two squash in here. These squash only have one in it. And, and that's when you start determining cost, that's something you have to determine. How many plants can you grow in one uh, wicking tub? These wicking tubs, I've got each have one tomato in it. You could put two. I did put two last year and I didn't really see a, a marked difference in it. Um, so I, I can't, uh, you know, I can't say that you can't grow two. Mr. Leon says one tomato in each one. That one I just put in there about three days ago. I had it growing elsewhere and transplanted over there. But wicking tubs are great for tomatoes. I mean, I did a bumper, bumper crop of tomatoes last year in wicking tubs and in earth boxes. Now, earth box is going to be the third one. Earth boxes are going to be a little initially initially earth boxes are going to be a little more expensive the earth box itself and all i did was buy the very cheapest one uh it's 30 dollars 32 dollars something like that you can you can find it on sale sometimes i bought mine originally for about 26 dollars because they put them on sale like a 20 percent off or something which they do from time to time so earth boxes what's the pros and cons of earth boxes well Again, the, the grow bags, the, the con is you have to have a tray, a tray underneath to catch the water. Are you going to be watering all the time? And the plants, I don't think the plants are going to get that, uh, enough water because it's just going to drain through and, and, get, and go. Uh, the wicking tubs, obviously, it's got that, got that reservoir in the bottom of, um, of water. So it's, you're not, that's something you already, you've, you've got your built-in trays at the bottom, built-in reservoir. Well, the earth box is the same way. It's got a built-in reservoir on the bottom of about two and a half inches. It holds about three gallons of water. And again, with the earth box, it's just so very simple. Some of you are saying, well, I don't want one because it's too expensive. Well, let me explain something to you. First of all, a wicking tub, Mr. Leon says that red wicking tub there is going to last about... Um, about five to seven years. I don't know yet. This is only my second year of using them. I can't tell any deterioration except this winter when it got cold. I tried to pick up one of the blue ones and it, the, the lip kind of broke off. So they, it does happen. They're going to deteriorate. So Mr. Leon says five to seven years on those. The grow bags are going to last you probably two years, maybe three. If you buy a real, real good grow bag, it could last you four for five. I really don't know. I don't have experience with that, but they, some of them claim that they're multi-year use. 
So a grow bag, even though those great bu grow bags I showed you only cost about $2.50, less than $3 a piece, I think. And, uh, and I'll, again, I'll put the link to that underneath. Wicking tubs, five to seven years, but testimonials say earth boxes last uh, 10, 15, 20 years and going. I had a lady just tell me the other day, hers were, I think she said 16, maybe she said 20, and still functioning fine. You know, they may fade a little bit, but they're functioning, functioning fine. So, so let's look at the cost. To, to do an earth bag, you're out, I'm going to say, I, I'm just, I can just go by what I pay for potting mix and say that I pay $14 for a three cubic foot bag of potting mix. So for a grow bag, that's about $10, 12 10 $11 for potting mix. We'll say 50 cents for fertilizer and about a dime or two for lime. Lime is cheap. And then, uh, it, but you've got to have that tray underneath. I don't know how much you're gonna have to pay for those, that tray. I already had those trays, so I can't, I can't speak to that. You may pay five, six, seven dollars for that tray. It's very possible you, you pay that much for it. At a, at a Dollar General or something like that, trying to find a tray that you can get to, that's either a, a two inches deep or that you're gonna drill a hole in or that you're gonna cut off around it to where it's two inches deep, which means more labor. Uh, the wicking tubs, again, you've got, you got the cost of the uh, potting mix, which is going to be another $10, 11 $12. You've got the pipe, you've got the black pipe sitting there on top, that you, the field tube. So you've got to buy some inch and a quarter field tube or inch and a quarter uh, black tube or uh, PVC. Uh, if you do the hybrid, it's a whole, I don't, I don't know exactly, you got to buy a lot at a time. I had to buy, I think, a hundred foot roll of the black socked tubing, uh, tubing with a sock in it. And uh, so I'm going to say wicking tubs are going to cost you uh, 12 to fill it up, 5 is 17. Landscape cloth is going to be another dollar or two. And that's if you, you know, if you have to go out and buy a big roll, it's going to be more than that, obviously. Um, and the corrugated pipe is probably $10 for 10 feet. You're going to use about six feet in it, probably, or thereabouts. So you're going to, you're going to have, you're going to have 20 bucks in that wicking tub. Uh, I think you're going to have 20 bucks in that wicking tub easily, if not more than that. This, again, if you buy just the cheap one without the casters on it, without the fertilizer and without the stuff they try to sell you, just the solo earth box, it's, uh, let's say $30. I think you can get it cheaper, especially if you call them and talk to them and try to get a better deal than just on the website. $30 for that. Your soil is going to cost you, potting mix is going to cost you, again, it's two cubic feet, so it's going to be... Uh, eleven dollars and then uh, 50 cents for fertilizer and 10 cents for lime and you're done and you say well that's that's more than you're paying to plant that but mr leon says only put one tomato in that earth box says put two tomatoes in these and that's what i've got in all of them earth boxes is two tomatoes earth box says put six pepper plants so that means that means it takes the place of six wicking tubs and you're using the, just that same amount of potting soil, just $11, $12 worth of potting mix to grow six peppers as you would to plant $10, $11 worth of potting mix in each one of those to plant one pepper, maybe two. You might squeeze two peppers in there. So I'm saying food, food to cost ratio, it's hard to beat an earth box. I don't, uh, I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not making anything by telling you about them, I'm just saying that they're just so very simple. Now on these, I only planted four peppers in most of these. Uh, that's what I did last year. Again, they say you can plant six. So I'm going to, I'm going to try them and make sure. So in this one, I did plant six because I happened to have six peppers that I needed to plant. And I just put them all six in an earth box. So. The good, bad, and the ugly is grow bags cheapest if you can find a way to put a tray under it cheaply. The wicking tubs, I'm just not sure. 
I'm hoping I'll get five to seven years out of them because I've got blackberries in those blue ones down there. And those blackberries are going to outlive the tubs. And I'm going to have to find out, figure out what to do with them uh, when the tubs wear out. So five to seven years on these, one plant per. I've done two, you might get away with two, so, but I'm not guaranteeing that. I don't think you had, I didn't have to fertilize any higher. I didn't, I, I just, I put two plants in it, okay? Uh, Mr. Leon says one. I've always wondered why it was just one. Kind of questioned that, but um, I didn't, uh, you know. So, and that's why I experiment, experimented last year. I wanted to find out if, if it would do two. Now, I wouldn't put more than two in it. I don't, I don't think I'd put more than two peppers in one because peppers get pretty doggone big. These, uh, these peppers are already two feet tall in these earth boxes and they're gonna get, uh, they'll get four feet tall at least. Um, so, most expensive initial cost. However, if you look at the years, if, if you look at 40, you may put 40 bucks, $42 in the earth box this year one year first year if you only garden one year you may put 42 dollars in that and you go to get two plants two tomato plants you put two tomatoes in it earth box says you can grow 40 pounds of tomatoes in one earth box so you're getting about a buck a pound for your tomatoes i don't think you can go buy those in the store for that and they show ain't gonna taste worth a darn so again it all depends on it all depends on whether you want to lay out that initial expense now or, um, or, or you know, or, or go a little cheaper. And there's nothing wrong with that. I've, I've got all three because I believe in all three. Uh, I believe in the grow bags. But again, I've got these trays. And I had to, I had to put, drill the hole in them. I had to m modify them so they wouldn't fill up with water. But I've had, got these trays. If you don't have them, then that's an expense that's got to be added to the grow bag. There are good, there are bad, but well, really there's not anything bad. The only thing bad about the grow bag is you have to, you have to go purchase some type, of, some type of tray. The only thing bad about the wicking tubs is they don't last very long. Five to seven years, that's not a long time. Uh, most of your soil, your potting mix can be reused, and whether, no matter what you're growing in, that, that tells you what I like the best. I like the earth box best because it's just, you buy them, it takes 30 seconds to put it together. You throw your soil in, you put a, uh, you put a strip of fertilizer down it where it says to, depending on what you're gonna plant. And you, you're, you put the cover on, you cut holes in it and you plant. It's just that simple. I like simple, even though it may cost me a little bit more initially. Not, I don't think in the long run it costs me any more at all. Initially it does. So just uh, while I'm here, let me just show you. I've already shown you the peppers and the, the peppers and the uh, tomatoes in the earth box. That is um, chard, Swiss chard. I had some that in that hole right there that didn't come up. So I just replanted that a couple of days ago. That should be up pretty soon. There they are already starting to starting to germinate a little bit. Uh, that is a burpless cucumber, burpless cucumber, and then two rows, I mean two tubs of uh, uh, yard long beans, a green one and a red one. We're gonna see how those go. I'm in the process of putting up a trellis for them because they are wanting to run right now. I gotta hurry up and do that. That is a homemade earth box and it, it worked fine. And it's some tubs that I already had. I already had that green tub. But I said I'd never do it again simply because it was a whole lot more trouble than it was worth. Not when I can buy one of these on sale for $26, $27, $30. It's not worth it to me. So that's, uh, that's how I feel about container gardening. Again, can you grow stuff in containers? Heck yeah, you can. These wicking tubs are going crazy with squash. I've got two squash in each one of those, in those two wicking tubs. And all of them are just, well, it's like I say, it won't be long. I'm gonna have squishes. I'm gonna have me some squashy squishes. These are two zucchinis that I planted just a week or two ago. So they're, they're, still, they're still coming on. 
But yes, you can grow the dog out of stuff in containers. The beauty of the earth box, the beauty of the wicking tubs, is if you're not buying, if you're renting, uh, earth box might be the way you want to go. Uh, grow bags are good. You can always just sacrifice the dirt. If you're moving, you just dump it out and, and uh, dump the dirt out on the ground. Let it just mingle with the rest of the dirt. Or you can take them with you. But again, they're not going to last but two or three years. Uh, wicking tubs, well, you better have a, a truck. If you got very many of them, you better have a pretty good truck and a pretty good back because throwing those things up in a truck, those things get heavy. Earth boxes get heavy too. Earth box full of soil, full of a plant, and full of uh, water, uh, I bet you're getting close to 100 pounds. You, you're definitely 80 and probably getting close to 100 with, if it's full of water too. So they're, uh, they're light as they can be when, you, when they're empty, but you, you put some wet soil in it and some, wet, uh, some, some water in it, they get heavy pretty quick. So I've shown you the, the three containers that I grew in last year, and I'm sure there are, there are several other, other different kinds of containers you could consider, but these are the three that I have experience with, know something about, and will recommend. I recommend all three of them. Just wanted to tell you the pros, the cons, the ins and outs of them, and uh, you do as you see fit. If you grow in wicking tubs, if you grow in earth boxes, if you grow in earth bags, let me know uh, what you have found in your um, in your situation about what it uh, what you found as far as cost and as far as productivity again earth box says you can get 40 pounds of tomatoes out of an earth box i would think i can get 40 pounds out of one of these two with just one well with two plants in it i don't think i can get 40 pounds with just one plant uh, same tomato same variety same fertilizer same everything i bet you uh, if i bet you mr leon with one tomato doesn't get 40 pounds he might he might. He's a, he's a heck of a gardener. But uh, productivity, longevity, to me, are, the, uh, are two things to look at. They may not be the, the, the most important things, but they're certainly things to look at. I know it's been a long video, but some of you have been promising this for a good while, and I've been asked about it several times lately, and I realize that I have not done it. it Maybe too late for some of y'all because you've already started planting. But uh, give these a look. If you can get you some wicking tubs, some, some of those syrup tubs, then go ahead and do that and try that. And, uh, but do something. Garden, garden, garden. Uh, your life may depend on it someday. So become a, become a garden. To me, for somebody that's never gardened before, never ever gardened before, earth box. You don't have to build anything. It's just put the soil in it, put the fertilizer in it, stuff the plants in it, and stand back. That's why I think, even though I'm not a novice gardener, uh, for me, this is just so easy that anybody can do it. And I recommend these to everybody. All right, hope that uh, was made clear as mud. For that reason, <laughs> we're gone.